Hello and welcome to Regina Tarot. I'm Regina and I am here with a tarot deck unboxing and walkthrough. This is the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan with art by Mark Evans. Um, it is the mini version. Um, let's see, published by Llewellyn. Uh, Llewellyn.com is where you can get this. And let's get started. So this one comes with, like it has that little tab for uh, plastic wrapped things. If I can just find where the actual tab is. There it is, right at the front. So I'll just pull that open. Maybe, kind of, sort of. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of that. If you're hearing that noise in the background, I'm hoping it's not too loud, but it is my AC. At the time of filming, we are in the 90s range. So as you can see, this is just a little tiny tuck box. Um, and we'll just set that aside. Let's see, do we have, we do. So this is shrink wrapped. It does have the tab also on the internal packaging. I do love the backs of these this deck. And let's see. What are these? So there we go. We've got that. It kind of goes really well with my little cloth here. So I like to call these cards the opening credits cards. Uh, published in 2012 originally. There's all the publication information. More about the deck. The pricing for the full size is on there. And that should be it. So let's get started. Here we have The Fool. Now this deck, from what I understand, is a kind of a Rider Waite Smith clone, just different art. Do love the dog. The diff big difference here with this fool is they're walking right along the edge of the dog running a little bit ahead instead of behind, but kind of like steering away from the edge, which I think is interesting. There's the magician. The high priestess. The Empress, so I have seen this deck before, um, one of the things that I just really like, the kind of like fantasy art that's here, the photorealism in terms of the style. All of the symbols in here are very clearly, um, you can see them very clearly. The Hierophant, case in point, the keys are right front and center. Here we have the Lover's card. The chariot, and these are matte. The glare is more about the lighting in my room, the space that I'm in. The strength card. I always appreciate a strength card where. The figures are side by side as opposed to one standing over the other. It's like they're very clearly in repose. There's a lot of trust between the animal and the woman. This is the hermit. I do like this hermit card too. We see them, you know, kind of more towards the viewer than in a lot of hermit cards. Got a little 
J.J. Abrams lens flare going on with the lantern. <laughs> the wheel and the justice card and the hanged man this is interesting you know, one of the things that's interesting to me about some Hanged Man cards is that um, very often you do not necessarily see gravity doing its thing, right? And whereas here, you do have, like, the um, you see their hair is kind of falling toward the ground, and then the bottom of that loose tunic shirt um, also in motion the way that you would expect. the death card temperance quite lovely oh this is interesting so we do have a little bit of a different card here this one is called the shadow side Power. Symbolism here is interesting. This top of the tower is very clearly in the shape of a crown. Um, speaking more Im image wise, speaking more directly to that um, upset and the balance of, the, of a hierarchy with this particular tower card. We have the star card. the moon the sun karma in place of judgment the world here we have the green man in the center. And now we are into the suits. We have the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Where is the Four of Cups? Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, The Eight of Cups, The Nine. Here is the ten. The page of cups. That's really pretty. I love the way this is framed by a wave. There's the knight. This one, I don't know why, and Knight of Cups sometimes evokes this for me, like, anyway, but, like, with this one in particular, I'm kind of, like, it's making me think of that um, thing where, like, you do, like, races when you're a little kid where you try to balance an egg on a spoon and, like, travel, like, a certain distance, like, a number of yards or something without, like, dropping the egg and cracking the shell. This is kind of reminding me of that. Except with the, you know, clearly it's a cup of something while riding a horse. Queen of Cups. There's the King. And here we've got the Sword Suit, the Ace of Swords, 
do and oh, there's a hawk here. I really appreciate that as a symbol. There's the like new start and communication, but pay close attention, that kind of thing. And I don't do want to straighten that out. Where's like I for whatever reason, like every time I do this now, like I can't get the cards to just stay neatly stacked. <laughs> so apologies to anyone who's um takes issue with that. Two of Swords. And here we've got the three. The four. This is the five of swords. And the six. Seven of Swords. Here is the Eight. The Nine. The ten, and the page of swords here. It's interesting. They have that little set of. At first, I wanted to say the pendant was a dragon, but I don't think it is. I do think it's another hawk symbol. This, um, the mini does not have a guidebook with it, just as an FYI. The Knight of Swords. There is the Queen. I think that's Lavender. Lavender's interesting in terms of, um, to me, because it's, uh, beautiful and it smells lovely but it's one of those things that actually will keep certain insects away so it's kind of apt for the queen of swords here's the king we've got the ace of wands and the two of wands The Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. There is the Five. There's our dragons. The Six of Wands. The Seven of Wands. There is the Eight. And just taking a second to straighten that up again. <laughs> the Nine. Here's the 10. Again, an interesting view. We usually see them um, kind of in a side view with a, the figure in a side view with the 10 of wands. Here we see them walking away from the viewer. Just the page of wands.
the night. The queen. Here we have the king. And into the pentacles we go. Here is the ace. Two of pentacles. I like the lemniscate, the way that's depicted there. The three of pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. The Five. Here's the Six. The seven. The eight, the nine of pentacles, and I think I have one. Yep, they're not really sticking together, it's just the way I picked up the cards. The ten of pentacles, I love the dog in this. There is a tarot deck, I think, I don't remember what it's called. Is it canine tarot or dog tarot? If anybody knows, feel free to um, post that in the comments below. But, uh, you know, like there's a lot of cat tarot decks. There is a, a dog one now. I should probably get it because I always love when I see dogs in the cards. Page of Pentacles. Here we have the Knight. Queen, another dog, and last but not least, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so that is the Witch's Tarot Mini. Um, let's see how it shuffles. It's the cardstock is pretty standard for Llewellyn. Um, it has a nice slide, it's like not a lot of difficulty there. Something this small I would not try to riffle. <laughs> um. And of course we've got the king, oh, slow and steady win the, wins the race. There you go. So that's the um, tarot. Wait, I already probably said this, but Witches Tarot Mini. Thank you guys for um, experiencing that with me and for stopping by here and checking out the channel. And I will see you the next time.